from the iPhone 4 and any iPhone uh, model or any iPod Touch model um, are widely acclaimed for their video playing capabilities um, because of the beautiful screen, especially on the iPad. Just the, the size of the screen makes it good for video viewing. Uh, however, if you've got loads of DVD, which I do on my shelf, and you import them onto your um, Mac or your PC, sometimes the settings that you get aren't really optimum, and you get uh, very pixely, um, stuttery, rubbish videos that don't look very good on either device. And that's why I've uh, made some plist files and made some uh, XML files for Handbrake, which is a video uh, ripper and converter. Uh, what it can do is actually rip DVDs uh, onto your computer uh, or convert like AVI files into MP4 files, and that's uh, the, the process. And the plan I'm the what I'm going to show you is how to get the optimum presets for your Handbrake. So if you look here on my screen, here's my Handbrake. Uh, you can see down here I've got my own three settings. One's SD, one's 720p, and one's called iFrame, or I've named mine half. Uh, I'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, anyway, 720p, if you've got HD video and you want to import it onto your iPod or iPhone or iPad, then click that one because it will do it, it will convert it into 720p for you, which is the highest. Uh, resolution that either device can take, um, and you probably save yourself some space because it's not 1080. If, you, if you've got a 1080p file and you convert it to 720p, then you'll save yourself some space because it, it's MP4 as well, so it's iTunes compatible. The second one down is um, the half one, which converts the video with the resolution which is about half 1080p, which uh, is almost full resolution on the iPhone 4. So it will look pretty much HD, um, and the same with the iPad as well. It, it will it will look very good because it's nearly 1080. It's about 500, so it's nearly about 720. And the final one down here is standard definition, uh, which is if you've got like a, a DVD which isn't um, very good quality. Most DVDs you'll have to convert in standard definition, unless you've downloaded. Um, uh, a high definition file, or you've got some sort of Blu-ray ripper, um, you don't, you won't need to touch the 720p one. I've had episodes of Doctor Who. Um, these aren't downloaded, but these are all standard definition, and I will convert them all with the standard definition uh, tool. I did have high def ones, and I did them in 720p, and they work fine. And um, actually, I can show you someone here. <clears throat> Here we go. The Madman. Uh, you go, Dad. Oh, you're not leaving me with her. Dad! Sure. Mark? So that's converted with the 720p settings. Um, it is high def. And um, I don't have them on my iPhone, but it will, it will be better quality on the iPhone if you were to import them. Um, in the doobly-doo down there, um, I've put links to the files. So there's two files. One of them is just called Handbrake Presets, which is here. And uh, try that one first if you're on Windows or Mac, because... Um, there's problems with the Windows import. Um, it shows them on the, the preset screen, but they're not actually there, which I'll explain in a second. So just try that one first, and if it doesn't work if, and you're on Windows, then try the second one, which is called Windows iPad iPhone Presets, and it's an XML file. And what you have to do is go to um, uh, Run and look for App Data, which is a hidden file, I think. So you'll have to um, type percentage sign app data. I'll put it on the screen so you know what to do. And go to the handbrake file. And then you'll have two XML files in there. And one of them is called user presets. And what you have to do is delete that unless you've already put user presets in and rename this one 
to user underscore presets and then you should have the presets built in to your handbrake then if you're on Windows. If you're on Mac it's easy to do, just double click and it opens and they're all there down the bottom here for you. Um, but if you get any problems leave some comments and um, good luck, have fun converting videos.